a hey world what's going on I decided to address the world in this way because I know it somewhat through the music realm you know doing this music thing with rapping and things true calling um, and I found my true calling uh, it's and it's filmmaking and I have this goal of mine for next year. Uh, I know this Rona shit's going on right now, but for next year, I would like to present my short film to the world. And I thought to make a video for like-minded individuals like myself that would like to break into the industry of movie making that have not yet stepped in or put their foot in the door yet. And currently I'm in the process of learning the ways of screenwriting, dialogue, learning under the ways of Martin Scorsese, Quentin Tarantino, um, let's see, Sergio Leone, um, uh, notable uh, works uh, of many different directors of the, of the genres and you know and my contemporaries you know um, like uh, I can't think of his <laughs> name <laughs> but uh, you know I really feel like I could change the game of filmmaking and I feel like a lot of people that are my age you know that finally figured out what their ambition in life really is want the same for themselves so I thought to myself why not create a round table of people a round table of people where other ideas exist where I can surround myself with people who are way more talented than I am in certain aspects of me presenting an idea and I thought to myself, this is a brilliant plan of action, you know, to actually bring it to fruition, where everybody can see their work and be proud of it when they see their characters on screen or certain aspects of whatever they brought to the table, be it cinematography, be it uh, post-production or, you know, certain things of that light, you know, to bring it to the forefront of where we need to be now I know this is Rona era I know this is you know the mask it up era but at the same time I got shit to do and uh, I have a serious drive that is just yanking me you know yanking me from the threshold of my soul that I have to do it it's like something where I'm having dreams of really cool events that I would love to see in film that I have yet to see in film and uh, I am honestly I'm reaching out to everybody and their mama <laughs> I'm reaching out to favorite directors Quentin Tarantino I'm reaching out to uh, you know Martin Scorsese Spike Lee um, you know all, Ryan Coogler you know you know, and, and which is an, a contemporary, you know, he's someone my age and, you know, someone that loves film and you could see it in his work, you know. I haven't done any film school, you know, but I I go to work every day with these drays in my ear. And what I do is I'll be working asphalt while listening to either my contemporaries or masters of the film world um, explain how they created a scene or how they created the ambiance and, and a certain uh, uh, masterful thinking in order to create, you know, that, that way, you know, or their style of film. You know, I know music goes with film like um, steak and potatoes, peanut butter and jelly, um, I don't know, uh, let's see, uh, escargot and baguette, 
You know what I'm saying? If you ever had that, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Like butter, you know, that's like snails, good snails, you know. We're, but we're talking elegance, you know. So I know I can totally rock the world of film. And I'm going to rock the world of film. And I ask the public to help me in this game and this ambition of mine. Because I see myself in the shoes of someone who just wants to see his work created. This fame thing or whatever is not necessarily my intention per se. Um, what it is is the idea that my character was able to say his piece and to see him move and waltz through the you know the the film and you know through a 16 millimeter camera through 35 millimeter camera you know you name it like I am I am just I, I love that I can learn on a constant basis while getting into the game of filmmaking you know where where it's just you're constantly learning and and i'm noticing that even when i'm writing my screenplays knowing the interior exterior knowing the dialogue knowing the text knowing the shots knowing all these different things that you need to communicate in order for someone to see your vision that it has to hook you like a fish that it has to drag you in, it has to excite and entice that person that is going to sit down and watch the movie. Now, it's been a long time since I've actually sat down and watched a movie just to enjoy it. Now, it's suddenly looking like, I feel like Keanu Reeves in The Matrix in a way, where I see almost coding and to see almost the way that they did it just by watching the film. And sometimes it's even good to mute things, to even uh, watch uh, the masterful work of Akira Kurosawa, you know, the colors he uses, like in, in dreams, you know, or, or even his uh, masterful stroke in The Seven Samurai, which then translate into, you know, other works that have, were based off of that, like The Magnificent Seven. So even westerns are samurai, just just the west. You know, you you uh, replace the katana for a six shooter, you know, or you know for spaghetti westerns and things. You know, these are great great stories, and I want to be a part of that world. You know, I want to see where I could take it, where I could bring it to fruition, and and to see. If there's anyone else that would like to join me in that, be it that you, you know, are uh, special effects, you know, where you're into uh, different makeups, if you're science, science fiction, or if you're even fiction, or if you're real life, I, I don't have a, a particular genre I want to be great at. I want to master the idea of being jack of all trades to any genre I decide to choose to pursue so um, I want to show the world what I am capable of doing I am 34 years old right now and I've been trying to find my knit my niche my niche you know and throughout the years it's been music and I have an understanding as to what sounds good and and what doesn't you know and it's like but when it came to myself it was I, I you know I I'm good at rapping I, I I know how to rock the craft but at the same time you know it was like one of those things where it's like that wasn't it you know you it's like if you meet somebody uh, that you're in love with versus someone that you're not you know but it's, it tends to be convenient because they're there it's kind of that vibe like Filmmaking is the woman that I want that or, or the woman that I know I connect with the most on this planet and and she is calling to me and I have to show this passion of mine because I have serious thoughts that I would like to convey with the world and 
I was really working on something. So prior to this uh, Rona thing happening, I uh, was trying to better myself. I was listening to affirmations, listening to plugging out, plugging you out, Infinite Waters, Ralph Smart, that brother right there, man. He, man, very insightful brother. Like uh, a lot of things to uplift myself and to build myself and to listen to affirmations, you know, and certain things that, uh, you know, allow myself to understand and realize who I am as a person, you know, versus anyone else validating it for me. And, uh, and so these are things that I want to do in this life. And, uh, you know, I'm, you know, I was working out and, you know, hopping, you know, bought my own treadmill just to get things back together, you know, getting my weight in check and things and, you know, personal things that I wanted to control. And, uh, and then this, uh, Rona hit this, uh, paradigm shift hit and uh it 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 stopped me in my tracks i had about a hundred pages of a, a feature film i had an idea to sell and at the time i was in kind of like a state of shock but then i came back you know to where i just leveled out like the feather from forrest gump and got to realize that I need to do this in order for me to gain my happiness, in order for me to gain what my calling is to the world. And I got back to it. And I understood that, you know, I needed to do a short film just to show what I can do and what I can bring to the table versus something just writing, you know, or, or maybe selling. And the thing is, you know, I, I still have a desire to be behind it myself versus sending it off and having another director do it. But I know Quentin Tarantino did it with True Romance, where he gave it to Tony Scott. You know, and Tony Scott, and it's a brilliant movie. I mean, you know, you got your uh, uh, Clarence in Alabama, you know, and, and that awesome story. <laughs> And him going to the, you know, movie exec and, and you know, uh, <laughs> there you go. Like, I, I'm i ready to get to the owner's box in the sense of my creativity and what I can bring to the table. So I'm calling out everyone that is in this business of filmmaking. I'm calling out every musician that wants to contribute to scores of things and and ideas, you know, to where they may have already been written or or something that, you know, where it has a place in a film, where it was born and created specifically because, you know, that film you were like, oh man, I'm part of this project. Oh, and that scene, oh snap. Yeah, let me throw my work in that. Yeah, you know, you know how much pride there is in seeing every aspect of the level of film and how it's such a joint effort and you know to bring it to the table it's just it's uh it's beyond words and i really want to be part of it i'm not in it for no oscar i'm not in it for no accolades i'm not really i'm not in it for the money i'm in it <laughs> i'm in it to see my characters exist man you know like I just, I just, it's, it's a strange feeling to me. Like, I feel like to escape a lot of the world's craziness, um, movies do that in many ways. I mean, there's some that are really delved into reality and it's really hard to watch when you're dealing with things, but I like the escapism. This is the world's, you know, new way of reading books, you know? I mean, I read screenplays. I read, um, there's this book that really made me venture even further into the game of filmmaking uh, called A Choice of Weapons by Gordon Parks. And Gordon Parks was, uh, you know, a photographer before he became a filmmaker. But there's a lot of elements even in his life that kind of made me feel like I was walking a similar path in a way, you know, and... I would like to show my vision to the world and to 
you know, and enjoy working with the likes of the greats, you know what I mean? It would be an honor to, you know, uh, see how they do it, face value, you know, just to learn and, and be under, because I know this is a world of whales, you know, and to my fish, or what have you, man, my, you know, humility is what leads you in anything in this life, and I have it, you know, and I know that there are people that are greater than me in this craft, and uh, I would like to collaborate and see what we can create, even if it's just through discussions, even if it's not even based off of something you're working with me exclusively, you know, um, could just be, you know, thoughts and ideas where we can connect and, you know, at times maybe just do weekly things, because I know that this filmmaking thing is a different thing than music to me, only because it's secrecy. I, I thought about it the other day, and I'm just, I was talking to my mama about this, where filmmaking versus music is a little bit different because, you know, the only people that I've been going to about it are the people I trust with my work, or that know, know me as a person or a personal friend. But whereas if I work in the game of music, you know, the game of music, you want everybody to hear. You want everyone's ear, you know, and and it's, it's, I'll say this. I want everyone's eyes. I want everyone's ears. I want everyone's focus for the filmmaking. Yes, but you know how there are piranhas that are out there that'll be like, hey, oh, I like that idea. Oh, maybe let me take it, you know, and, you know, I, he, may, he might not have copywritten it yet, so maybe I can take this property and and use it for my own, uh, you know, my own pursuit. So, you know, this is why it's almost a different way of communication. And I, I find it pretty interesting. And I, uh, um, but, but at the same time, I'm the most fascinated with, with, with filmmaking because I love storytelling. It just seems like a lot of people that are in my family can easily bring you to a certain scene of the crime. You know, as soon as they tell you something and and the detail is just so surreal that it brings you there. And and this ability somehow passed on to me because, you know, it's I, I don't know, maybe it's some sort of talent. But I remember, you know, back in college when I was, uh, you know, studying under Ryan Kelly, who, uh, you know, you probably know him from the book Lucifer. Uh, gave me this advice where he told me, you know, if, if there's, you know, writing, because he's a, he was an artist at the time, but there was something he told me that was pretty valuable, where he said, sometimes when you're drawing, forget the drawing part of it, forget the image part of it, explain to me what you want in that scene, explain all the words, and visualize it, create it with the craft of words versus just the drawing. And if you do that, you know, you will be able to bring forth a world versus just the drawing. And that's what I want to do. I want to, you know, so it's funny. It's like my whole life, you know, I, I've just, I've fell in love with stories. And I want to bring it to people's uh attention man I, I i want them to see it on the screen i you know i i'd love to see what i could bring to the table actors and actresses everybody has a place in this game you know what i mean like you any it, all walks of life have a place in this game of filmmaking because we are people and you know we we walk that line of creativity every day, you know? So I thought I'd just shoot this idea out there and let everyone know what my, uh, my ambition is and, uh, and my confidence that I want to step with a, you know, heavy foot and, you know, make my mark in the world, you know, make that ripple effect, be Bruce Lee, be water, my friend, you know what I'm saying? And, and just go with the flow. So, if you come across this video and you are interested in becoming 
something where it's a force to be reckoned with in the game of filmmaking where the ideas that bounce off of people that are just so you know intriguing and hooking like like on some Chris Nolan type of vibes or even Jordan Peele man which is uh you know king in the in the black horror suspense you know I have high regard and, and, and respect for that brother because you know I I feel like it's it, it is uh, it is time it is time to now show what uh you know my brothers and sisters can do in this game and and even everyone else man you know what i'm saying it's i'm inclusive man i'm not you know singling out nothing but but it is but it is something of importance to see my you know my fellow people you know walking in in the shoes of, of directing and writing and and you know acting and doing all these different things and production and things and it's just it excites my heart it's like soon as you know i hear something about zendaya uh you know taking on you know mary jane watson it's just like whoa oh snap you know even though it's uh mj it's not mary jane but still it's it's it's, it's cool ideas that are running and you know you're you're really hyped and supportive of it because you know it's 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 a nice feeling to see someone that looks like you rock things man you know this is why i i have high uh, admiration for uh ryan coogler and uh and what he's doing because this brother's my age and and very well educated college educated man this brother uh is uh very articulate in the works of, of filmmaking and it's and you have to be you have to be it's like you have to be a walking library in a way to express what you want in 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 the works of visionary works you know like spike lee man i'd love to pick his brain you know what i mean what a what a gem of a person man i'd love to pick his brain uh, and you know antoine fuqua you know i'd love to pick their brains cuz i know uh, F. Gary Gray. I have to say F. Gary Gray. That brother, man, you know, he's done some serious works. But just, just to pick their brains and, and to see what they know. Like, like you know, all the masterful works, the master class. I, I've been getting my mind into everything on that tip. Even uh, David David Memmott, you know, where, uh, you know, of his writing and, you know, of how he likes to use subtext. You know, to where people explain things without having to actually say the screen, the, 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 the dialogue, you know what I mean? You could just know it just by how they look at you and how they feel or whatever, you know, with, with, with bringing it to the table. See, I want to bring that, man. I have it. I have that fire. And I need to bring it to the world. Anywho, that is my message. And uh, I invite anyone and everyone to conversate with me on this game of film because I feel like I would be fortunate, so fortunate to work with brilliant minds in bringing my visions to the table and also people that are like-minded like myself to bring their visions out into, in, into the world, the brilliant colors, the brilliant everything, every <laughs> aspect of what Oscars would say bring to the table you know I, I even feel like comedy needs to be something of value which Oscars really don't value so much I mean I look at Eddie Murphy and Robin Williams like you know uh, forces to be reckoned with in that game like Eddie Murphy that <laughs> Oscar winning actor to me if you could play an entire family or even an entire barbershop, just about, <laughs> just about, you know, coming to America, Randy Watson, sexual chocolate. Come on now, man. Can't get no better than that. But anyway, uh, this is a game I want to get into very seriously. And I invite you all to join me. All right. This is Jarrell. Right, peace. I'm out.